What the hell? I swear I just heard a werewolf. <laughs> I'm getting anxiety. Do you like how I get social anxiety when there's literally nothing happening? No one, not a single soul, me. Bitches, we're doing another Costa Vida mukbang. Apparently, this has a very small following, but the people that watch them watch the whole thing, which is insane to me. And uh, one of my friends, I guess you could say, uh, that I met from YouTube. We're eating a Costa Vida salad, just like my first mukbang I ever did. Uh, these are fucking prime. And yeah, one of my subscribers, he'll always message me and go, when are you gonna do another mukbang? He's like, people just like to hear me talk about my shitty life and uh, I'm here for it. So, oh my fucking God, let me show you guys. Damn it. Oh my god. I am so poor right now, it's actually sad because I fucking, first of all, my tattoos, which I don't even know if you guys can see that shit. <laughs> uh, I've showed them in a different video. Y'all go fucking look at my Instagram. But um, my tattoos cost like $1,200 for my like half sleeve, which isn't even 100% finished. There's still like a little spot we have to do. But um, I had to pay with my credit card <laughs> to get this fucking salad because I have this fear of just running out of money because it's happened to me in the past. Um, maybe like two years ago, um, I remember going to the gas station and not having enough money for the gas pump to even let me get gas. Uh, I think you have to have like $100 for the gas pump to even like register or like let you get gas. I didn't have enough, and so I had to like get five dollars on my wallet, um, go inside, and tell them to like put it on whatever pump or whatever. And it was just sad, and I haven't had to do that in years. So thank you to YouTube. Literally, YouTube is the reason I haven't had to. Uh, mostly my ASMR channel, but I'm trying to get this channel lifted off the ground. Um, I don't even know if it'll work because like, I don't feel like my personality is that amazing for YouTube. Oh yeah. Fuck. I need to flip this shit. You guys remember this? Let me try to show you. This is how you flip your fucking tortilla, okay? Oh my God, I might make a mess, but it's okay. You take the tortilla like so, you spin that shit. And you slowly fold it. Oh my god, the goal is to knock it out. Oh shit. Damn it! I already fucked it up. I just want the tortilla. You can just slide the fucking tortilla out. There you go. There you go! <laughs> okay, I hate myself. Let's get some napkins. Oh my god, but I found this place called Zao Cafe. And if you guys have never been there, motherfuckers go there. It's so good. Um, it's like a Vietnamese place and like, it doesn't even sound good. Um, like what the fuck, like Zao. Um, I guess I'm just like a basic bitch and I stick to like the stuff that I always eat. Um, and I'm like scared to waste my money on something that I might hate. But this place is Zao Cafe. Um, their noodles? I would shove a whole bowl inside my asshole. So good. But, um... Damn. Do you guys hear that siren? I'm scared. Honestly... Oh my god. Okay, I've been watching this, like, series on YouTube. There's this guy. I forgot his channel name, but... He does... Am I gonna die? Hello? Okay, it's going away. Oh, there it is. Whoop, there it is. Oh, poor people. But, um, yeah, this guy does a series on YouTube where he, like, explores, like, malls that are, like, empty and, like, going out of business. And it's so sad. And honestly, the place I'm parked right now feels abandoned. It's this little bowling alley by my apartment. And they have, like, laser tag and shit. And every time I go in there, it's, like, never busy. Um, 
and like it's sad like i'm looking it's like open right now you know and there's nobody parked in the parking lot <laughs> um which is why i came here to film because i was like there's no one fucking over here and it kind of makes me sad like it's sad to think about like all the people that have put in work to like make this building and build all the bowling stuff like the laser tag arena the arcade and it's just abandoned for whatever reason like it just i don't know it's weird i like abandoned shit like that sorry i'm just like breaking up my tortilla because you know how it is um yes now we gotta mix that shit up i swear it takes me like 10 minutes to even start fucking eating one of these salads because i always want to like do this tortilla shit but um okay oh yeah put that shit in there damn it i spilt shit on myself <laughs> okay but um yeah so this guy he goes to like abandoned malls and what the hell i swear i just heard a werewolf <laughs> um and he just like films and he like talks about like he films everything that like nobody cares about <laughs> like i watched this one and he filmed like the arcade and everything was like all run down but it's still like open and you can hear like an air hockey table in the background um like going like there's like one person in there <laughs> but um yeah anyway that's what i have been watching oh let's take our first fucking bite the only thing about flipping the tortilla and people tell me like you should just ask for the tortilla on the side so you don't have to like flip it but like my social anxiety always kicks in right when i want to ask and i'm like you know what i can flip it i can flip it it's like sad the amount of shit i do to go out of the out of my i go out of my way to avoid social situations like, like so far out of my way uh it's actually embarrassing and i'm working on it i'm trying to you know fucking love myself and be more confident okay let's get a good bite good bite mm. Mm. wow oh. i like those people who clap in the plane lands up when I eat. Oh my god. I'm wet. This has to be like one of my favorite meals. It's just so bomb. Um, anyway, I just want to talk about like my life. Um, I just uploaded a, uploaded a video on my ASMR channel called Antisocial ASMR where I basically talk about my trip to Texas that I went on recently with my boyfriend. Um, and it was hard for me. Uh, it was fun, but it was hard just because we went there for his friend's birthday. Uh, one of his best friends, her name's Kara. Hi. And, uh, you know, it was just lots of like socializing and meeting people. And it was just stressing me out. And, you know, they all wanted to, like, go to, like, bars and stuff for, like, her birthday. And I understand that people like to do that. I just don't get why. I just can't relate. Like, waiting in line somewhere to enter a bar and, like, they take your ID. And, like, it just feels weird. And, like, you have to pay them to go in. But you have to, like, pay for drinks if you want drinks, which I don't even like to drink. Oh, my God. I can spit fucking food out. I'm not even going to edit this shit. I'm sorry. Y'all are just going to have to fucking watch it. Um... And yeah, it's just like a weird thing for me. I just don't get it. I, I wish I enjoyed it. I kept thinking about that. I was like, why don't I like this? Like everyone here looks like they're having fun except me. <laughs> like I wish I was having fun. Um, the best part was when they played Mariah Carey, fucking All I Want For Christmas Is You, and I fucking was dabbing to that shit. Mm. I'm done making noises, I swear. Mm-hmm. Mm mm-hmm. But, um... Yeah, if you're watching this, this might be too late to say, but go grab, some, go grab a snack. <laughs> Get some food. I love watching mukbangs and eating at the same time. It's just... It's just nice. 
I feel like I'm eating with a friend because I don't have any, but whatever. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, Texas. And, you know, I just can't live in a place that's like downtown because we were in downtown Austin or whatever. It was nice and it was warm and like, it's a cool place, but downtown areas give me so much anxiety. Like the fact that you can never find a place to park and then you have to pay for parking. And then there's like hella people walking around. There's people running up to me trying to like put bracelets on my arm, like trying to get me to like donate to them and shit. I was like, what the fuck is going on? And there's homeless people like screaming and I like think that I'm gonna get jumped. Like it was kind of scary. Mm -hmm. This is nice. I feel better eating here because there's no people. See over here. Oh my god, you can't even see. Empty. Empty. Fuck me. You can't even fucking see it. <laughs> well, yeah. Also, you might notice this is a different car. Because I got in a fucking car crash. Crashed my boyfriend's car. I felt like shit. And the girl, she apparently got injured. And I felt so bad. I think that getting in a car crash and like being the cause of a car crash is the most embarrassing thing I've experienced in years. Um, I felt so bad. I had like an emotional breakdown when my boyfriend got there. I started crying and the ambulance came. The girl was like injured. I don't know what happened, but she took $2,000 out of like what the car was worth or whatever that they were going to pay my boyfriend to put them toward. Oh my God, is that person turning? <sighs> Sorry. Oh, um, I hate myself. I hate myself. I'm going to start saying I love myself. But she took out $2,000 for injuries and I felt really bad. Like Rizwan only got like 700 bucks for the car and I feel like shit. And I'm like, I wish I could just like give you money. I wish I had all the money in the world. I would just give it all to you. Mm. Well, that's just life, I guess. And I'm not even going to go into the details of the car crash because I did that for a YouTube video on my ASMR channel. Everyone's like, don't post it. She can use it against you and like get more money or whatever. So I rear-ended her. That's all I'm going to say. I rear-ended this chick on the freeway. That's it. And uh, it was retarded. Just kidding, I shouldn't say that word. It was annoying. I just hate myself for it. Mm hmm. This is my sister's car. She's on a mission, a Mormon mission. And I gotta start looking for a new car, which is, it sucks. I hate it. Thinking about payments makes me want to kill myself. Like, I get notifications every time, like, a payment comes out of my account and like I just dread getting those text messages and in my Chick-fil-A mukbang that you guys might have watched from like I don't know a year ago it was a while ago um I talked about um how I owe like five thousand dollars in taxes or whatever so we set up like that whole payment thing and so I'm making payments like every month I think it is I think it's like a hundred bucks or something a month and it's scary to have that going on and then I'm gonna have to make car payments insurance payments which I'm not making right now so I'm like nervous I won't have enough money and like I just hate being an adult I hate thinking about like anything money related business related 
I mentally just want to go back to being a child and like not stress. Christmas is even stressful. How sad is that? Like I bought my boyfriend a bunch of presents and like I have like six dollars now. <laughs> I'm like, great. <laughs> um I'm excited about it, but you know, when you're a kid you don't have to like worry about getting presents or anything. Mm -hmm. I'm done. But on the bright side, I got this cute fucking beanie. Look how cute I am. Screenshot this. Thumbnail. Thumbnail, look at this. You know what? Always gotta show my tattoo. That's it, oh my fucking God. <laughs> I didn't mean to get lettuce in my fucking mouth. Somebody put that on Instagram and tag me, okay? But, um... I... Never find beanies that I like. And I was shocked, because I actually like this one. I have, like, this... Beanie I got from Zoomies, like a Neff beanie or whatever. I've had it for, like, years. I got it when it was like 2016 probably, which is, I wasn't even like out of the fucking closet yet. And it just looks so ugly on me. Like, I like this extra fucking flap thing because it makes my head look better. <laughs> um, who just commented? Bearded Whisper, ASMR. The thumbnail kills me. You're welcome. Um, but yeah, <laughs> look how damn good I look. You know what's weird is like, Maybe this is just because I'm insecure and have confidence problems, but when I, like, get ready, I, like, feel more confident. And even, like, with my tattoos, like, if my tattoos are out, which I always want them to be because I love them and I spent a bunch of money on them, I just, like, feel like a badass. I'm like, yeah, I fucking went through, like, 12 hours of pain to look like this. <laughs> you know, it's weird. That, that, that sounds really weird. It sounds like I'm getting plastic surgery, but I never did that and never will. <laughs> Well, who knows, honestly. Speaking of plastic surgery, Trisha Paytas started a podcast, and I'm living for it so far. She had Jeffree Star and Shane on it. The Jeffree one just went up today. I was listening to it on the way to Costa Vida. <laughs> And I guess Miss Shane's podcast. His was the best. He had the best guests. He, like, talked about the best shit. And I guess, like, relate to him so much. And I just love him. And <sighs> I just miss it. And he deleted all of his podcasts because it was, like, causing so much controversy around him. Like, about the whole, like, he raped his cat or, like, whatever. All this weird shit. Mm. Well, I'm glad I came when I did. I'm gonna turn my car on really quick. It's getting cold. Really cold lately. It was so warm in Texas. It like reminded me of Arizona. I really just wanna move back to Arizona. Like that would be so fucking amazing. Um, yeah, I just love the heat. I hate the cold. Like in Texas, it literally felt like early fall there. It was like, yeah, yeah. Like 70s. 
here it's getting down to like 20 degrees and shit which is not cute can't relate just working in those types of uh conditions but uh we working on fucking leaving okay <laughs> my job It still sucks, but I only work Wednesday, Thursday, Friday now. So I have Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday off. So that means I work less than I have like breaks or like filming days, which has been so amazing, but it's still like stressful to know that I'm still having to rely on that job and it is not fun. Anyone else relate? Anybody else hate their job? Like what's your job? If you hate your job, let me know what it is. And literally, I have been just like cringing lately because around this time last year, I think it was like late December, like early January that I was working at J Crew. Do you guys remember that? I think that was my first mukbang on this channel it was like when I was sad or whatever. And like I had my job interview that day that I filmed it. And like, I was all excited because I got it, but <laughs> that turned into like the worst job. I was just so not fulfilled and I just felt worthless. I felt like shit. I remember going to work and thinking I'm having to like dust shelves and like fold clothes and like have people tell me what to do when I think I had like 16,000 subscribers and like for some reason that makes me feel like I have so much more worth like um that I'm like reaching all these people and like helping them and then I'm here at this shitty job where people are treating me like shit and like customers are assholes to me. I had like so many rude people talk to me and like talk to my friend that I worked with and like just say mean shit. Like you're literally trained to basically be trash. Like it sucks. And I just felt like shit. And like, it's so hard to stay positive in those types of environments. And like, they were nice to me. Like my birthday, they got me a cookie and stuff and like all that shit. But I quit like a few days after my birthday. <laughs> um, oh wait, when did I work there then? January, February, March. So it must have been like March. Never mind. I guess I'm wrong. Um, it just feels like that whole era, those few weeks that I worked there. It just feels like a bad dream, if I'm being honest. I hate thinking about it. It makes me cringe. Like, I can't believe I did that to myself when I try to think of it as like a learning experience. Mm. But I remember like being so embarrassed because I tried so hard to get that job. I remember like bothering my friend that worked there, bothering the manager, like, trying so hard I practiced with my boyfriend on like interview questions and shit and I was like happy when I got it and I was like so excited I was just like something new like I've been complaining about like wanting a change and all that and it was just so bad and like it got to the point where like it was not that busy especially because it was like snowy like that time of year so I remember like literally it gets to the point where you had nothing to do and you just walk around the store, like look at all the clothes and like the guy's shirts had to be like rolled up, like the sleeves, like the long sleeve shirts. And I remember literally rolling up the sleeves, pulling them down, rolling them up again, just like to do nothing, like to waste fucking time. And shockingly, it was like, less reliable source of income than my welding job. Just because like the schedule was always like changing and like fluctuating or whatever. 
And I'm like, I can't. Cause you're like, it just sucks because it's very like customer based. If you're not getting many customers, you can't have people like working at the same time. And you're just, the company will just be wasting money. And like, I don't know. Anyway, off that topic, I'm getting depressed. But um, yeah. What else can we talk about? Let's talk about my fucking body. <laughs> um, I've been bulking since I went to the Bahamas. And so I've been like eating more calories than I burn, basically. And I've gained like 40-ish pounds, I think. Which is great. But the thing that sucks is my face always gets fatter. It's more circular, my cheeks start to puff out and I'm getting to that point where I'm like, okay, I'm gonna have to start cutting soon. If I don't wanna freaking get too big. But um, yeah, I was 185 today and this is like the first time I've ever lean bulked this successfully. And this is like the leanest I've been at this weight. Usually I'm like a lot fatter. And so I feel really good. I felt so good at the gym today. I was like, it like motivates you. It's kind of weird. It's like when you see like results or like your hard work paying off, like it makes you like want to keep doing it. I don't know. Um, like my boyfriend, he's been like struggling really hard to like get back in the gym and stuff just cause he's always like busy with work and he's tired and all that. And I feel like that's a problem for a lot of people. Mm. But, you know, New Year's resolutions are coming and maybe we can uh, change that, I don't know. Does anybody actually stick to their resolutions? We always write them down and then I look at them for like a week and then I just like forget them. Tell me your New Year's resolution <laughs> in the comments, please. Honestly, one of my biggest goals is to quit my welding job by the end of 2020. It sounds very intimidating and like almost not possible, but you never know. Maybe the YouTube algorithm will be nice to me this year. I feel like 2019 it didn't do very well. Like. It just kind of has stayed the same ever since I started my channel. Like, I can upload a video and know it'll get like 4,000 views, like at least, like over time on my ASMR channel. But it's kind of always been like that since the early phases of my channel, which is scary to think that like not much has changed. I. I have more subscribers and like occasionally I'll get a video that like does pretty well and I'll get like 30,000 views, but that's pretty rare and like it makes me scared like that I'm not, e I'm either like not good at my fucking, dude some guy just came out of this building right in front of me and I want to drive away. Should we move locations? You know what? I paid too much money for this damn salad to stress about this guy. I'm fucking moving. You guys see him? Oh, there he is. Fucker! Just kidding. Please tell me there's a way out over here. I'm going even farther back behind the fucking bowling alley. Oh, I look like such a creep. Hey, what's good? Um, damn it. Oh, there's a cat! There's a little red cat. Garfield. Okay, let's find a little spot to park. I feel uh, anxious. Honestly, I should just like start smoking weed. I have so much anxiety always. I hope there's no one in that car. I'm parking on the opposite side. Right here. I'm like so weird. See like, you know how I was talking about like abandoned places and shit? I like 
look at this parking spot at the far end of this parking lot and I'm like, I bet nobody's parked there in years. And it's just sad to think about. Like, I don't know. I'm really weird and I get like, not like emotional, but I, I just like feel some type of way when it comes to like places going out of business. Like Toys R Us, when Toys R Us went out of business, I was like, that's fucking sad. Oh, this lighting looks better though. Hi. Um, let's make another thumbnail just in case. Damn it, my cell is like empty now. <laughs> it's okay, they don't have to know. Uh... <laughs> I don't want anyone to fucking see me. I get very clearly self-conscious or whatever when people drive by. Mm. I struggle, okay? I hate people looking at me so much. I was actually really worried about getting a tattoo because people would like look at me different, but I haven't noticed that at all, really. People have only complimented me. But who knows, maybe like the people are just bitches. People in Utah are mean. Well, no, they're not mean. They're just like, they're just different. Um, like in Texas, people were so nice. I got compliments on this like beanie. I got compliments by just like random people. People were like nice, like saying like, have a blessed day, blah, blah, blah. Utah people are so like cold and I don't know. I think it's because um, it's just cold here. <laughs> and it's always cloudy and depressing and the people are just salty, straight up. Let me lock my doors. I'm a little sister scared. Okay, mm-hmm. We out here? There's literally nothing to be scared of. Um. Mm. But, it's kind of weird, it's like, I get like emotionally attached to places and random like areas. Especially like places I spend a lot of time in. I don't know if, I have never heard of anybody else like thinking this way. Unless it's about like their childhood home or like whatever. Ew, there was rice fucking on my finger and I put on, yeah. Um, okay. But like, for example, this city, Sandy, where I live, I lived here for like three years and I'm, I'll be sad when I move, honestly, like, I've had a lot of good memories here and like, I like this area. I like the mall that I live by, even though like I don't even barely use it. I love my gym. My gym that I go to is my favorite gym I've ever been to. Just because it's like not packed. I had so many like good times there, like just listening to like podcasts and like laughing. This sounds so sad. Uh, I like discovered Shane Dawson. Like the first time I listened to a Shane Dawson video was like in that gym or like, just like weird shit like that. Um, and like, just like eating and filming in this parking lot, knowing that like, I started my YouTube channel here and like buying stuff from that Walmart up the street for like my channel, like random shit. Like, it's just weird. I don't know. Does anybody else feel that way? Like you just like miss it. Like things get better with time. Like, for example, um, my last gym, or like two gyms ago, <laughs> when I lived in Provo, Utah, which I do not miss, um, but I get like nostalgia thinking about it, I guess, but I don't like miss it. I don't even know if I, if I use the right word. But that gym was where I would go to like de-stress and like try to better myself to deal with like my breakup and coming out. Like I guess had so many emotions at that gym and like <laughs> listening to like true scary stories and like songs that were sad and like, I kind of just like discovered myself there. It was really weird. Um, this is the most boring mukbang, I swear to God, I'm so sorry. But um, yeah, but then like I found this gym that I'm going to now and like I made more memories and I forgot about that other one and that other one sucked. I hated the people there.
What am I saying? I just talked about something interesting. Um, what's going on right now? Like, what's going on, on YouTube? Um, let's see. YouTube Rewind 2019. Everybody's talking about that, though. Like, I don't know. There was an ASMR artist in it. Honeybee ASMR. Who does videos about, like, eating fucking vans made out of cake or, like, hairbrushes made out of cake. She was never, like, two seconds. But at least they actually got a real ASMR this time. I remember in 2018 Rewind... That was the first time they ever talked about ASMR or did anything for it. And, like, it was cool, but they didn't have ASMR just doing it. It was, like, these random, like, maintenance guys. Like, these Asian dudes. And, like, these aren't YouTubers. Isn't everyone in Rewind supposed to be fucking a YouTuber? Let me turn my car off. It's getting hot. You know what I mean? Oh, my God. I worked out my triceps today. I cannot move. Fuck me. And I also did legs and back yesterday. And I just went really hard on these workouts because I haven't been working out a ton just because like my tattoo, then my trip, and then blah, blah, blah. And like, I can't move. I can't sit up out of bed. I can't roll over. Like, oh my God, it's hard. The struggles of being fit is that you're always disabled. Mm. I'm really not even that fit though, like, I see people on Instagram, I want to kill myself. Oh. There's this guy I follow. His name is Mike Chabot or whatever, fitness on Instagram. He's really hot, he has like tattoos. He's like a very, very attractive guy. And he does online coaching and so I messaged him. I told him like, I feel like I've kind of like plateaued a little bit the last like year and I was like I just want to like take it to the next level you know what I'm saying and so like I messaged him and then like an hour later I get a voice message from him and I was like ooh daddy Mike sent me a voice message but he like told me how it works and like it costs like what was it I think it was like 300 or something for like three months I'm like, <laughs> you think money grows on trees, Michael? Like, I was just so annoyed. And I wasn't even sure about how I felt about online training, because, like, it's almost like, what's the point? Like, I understand they can, like, give you workouts, but, like, just fucking Google workouts. They're not there to, like, hold you accountable or, like, push you at the gym. You know what I mean? It's just weird. And I'm like, maybe it's just because people, like, think that since they're paying for something that... They're gonna get results or they'll they'll like feel held accountable but like those thoughts and feelings will like wear off you know what i mean uh, mother of god anyway my boyfriend's in fucking california and uh, i'm just with his sister because his sister's been living with us for the last since like october or september oh <laughs> Um, it's fine, but I kind of miss having like my apartment to myself. Um, just like, like she's great and stuff, but our apartment's just so small and like, she sleeps on our couch, which is basically the living room, which is also the kitchen, which is like the entire apartment. <laughs> and so it's like, I feel like I always just have to be in like my little room. I don't know. But it's chill, like we're helping her out. And like Rizwan's sister, a different one that we used to live with. Um, we lived with her for like three months or something or six months. And she never like complained about it or anything. And she like wanted us to stay. So it was really nice. So, you know, I'm like, I guess I'll return the favor to someone else. You know what I'm saying? Um, again, this is such a boring podcast, and I'm sorry, are those homeless people? 
Oh no, they're just professional bowlers with their fucking bags and shit. Wow. Um, what else is interesting? I don't know. Um, oh yeah, Kesha, Queen. So you guys might know, but I'm obsessed with Kesha. I've always been obsessed with Kesha. Uh, ever since I was a little girl. And uh, she's been like collabing with like James Charles and she has a makeup line and I can't wait to watch all the reviews on it. And it's so funny, like after watching Shane and Jeffrey's like series about the conspiracy palette, I want to like buy makeup and shit. Like I want to support him. I want to buy his palette, even though I never use makeup. You know what I mean? It's weird. But it's also expensive. Makeup's expensive. <laughs> But I was thinking about just getting like a palette literally just to use it for ASMR makeup role plays because those are popular and people like ask me to do them and I guess I don't do makeup so I don't know if anybody knows of a good palette to buy <laughs> that's affordable let me know I'm just gonna use it for literally ASMR role plays, like getting you ready for a date. Like a lot of the girls, you know how I make like those gay best friend videos on ASMR channel? A lot more women have been watching my videos lately. Like my demographic has changed to like half women, half men, and it used to be 70% men. And they're like, can you make one of these for the girls? And I'm like, you know, to get a girl ready for a date, like the biggest thing is makeup. So I'd have to like get makeup stuff. And I know Karuna Satori made like a propless makeup video where she has nothing and I thought of doing that, but I feel like it'd just be better to have actual makeup. And like Dean ASMR, he's like really blown up like the last year. I remember when he had, I think I found him when he had 40,000 subscribers. And you know, he would like comment on my videos every once in a while, but he's like huge now. He has like 200 or 300,000 or something crazy like that, I think. And he does ASMR in like Sephora or he'll do it in um, like Walmart and shit like that. It's getting dark, oh my God. I'm sorry. World's slowest eater. It's taken me 43 minutes so far to get to here, which I'm, I'm close to done. But I don't know, it's just fun. Is that worse? That's fine. But, I don't know, I kind of want to do stuff like that, but it's intimidating because I have social anxiety. I don't want to like, get yelled out for filming in like Walmart because I have in the past. Um, and it would just be awkward. Um, you should have like, secreted and I kind of hate that. But, I've just done so much YouTube in my apartment that you kind of get sick of like being in your apartment. And then I see like Shane or like people doing YouTube videos like outside of their apartment and like their house or they go like out into the world and like do shit and like film in public places. And like, I just wish I could do that. And I want to one day, but it's hard for me. Like, I think the only time I really filmed in public was filming a video called Boyfriend Buys My Outfit. I filmed in like a store and I was buying some stuff for like five seconds and like, I guess felt awkward. <laughs> Can I tell you guys a secret? Please don't judge me. And if you're a family member watching this, please exit off. <laughs> so, I, 
recently discovered that I like watching like sex doll porn. <laughs> like hot guys like having sex with a sex doll. That is the cringiest shit I've ever said in my life. I just, I don't know, it's like hot to me for some reason. I was just thinking about like how I talked about like porn and stuff in my last thing that I thought of this. I just barely discovered that I enjoy this. <laughs> And I don't think I would ever like fuck a sex doll, but like, I don't mind watching a man fuck a sex doll. I don't know why, it's like kind of hot. <laughs> it's weird, but one of my subscribers just commented on my video that I posted today about like one of my gay videos. And he was like, I have an armpit fetish and like there's this guy at my gym who never wears deodorant and like, I just wanna like smell him or whatever he said. <laughs> you know, we all have our fucking weird kink or fetish we like people like feet fetish fetishes or whatever i don't have that but like sex doll i kind of am here for it maybe it's like because i've never used a sex toy in my life i've only used this one my right hand and like, it just like looks like it would feel really good. <laughs> Cause I've literally never fucked anything other than my hand. <laughs> it just looks like it feels really nice. And it's like kind of hot when they just like get really into it. Anyway, that was my secret that I wanted to tell you. Who fucking cares? Not you guys. Just kidding. Um, wow. What kind of porn do y'all like? I should stop asking these questions. Demonetize. I've like watched porn with my friend Christina before. She showed me like lesbian porn. And she likes the cute shit that's like showering together and like kissing. <laughs> I kind of like the more crazy shit. I like the rough shit, daddy. <laughs> Okay, we're literally done. You guys are probably like, who the fuck? Why am I watching this video anymore? Why are you still here? Leave. Just kidding. Stay, please. I need uh, views. <laughs> Almost done. It's getting dark. I'm gonna get kidnapped. What if a guy came around that corner? Dressed in all black and just like staring at me. <laughs> at me right now. <laughs> I like love scaring my friends with shit like that. Like, if we're like in the woods or something, or like having a fire or something, I'm always like, what if a clown just like, we looked over and there was a clown like standing by a tree and like he disappeared. And they're like, stop! Like my girlfriend. <laughs> I don't know, I just think it's fun to scare people, I guess. Oh my god, another story. See my rings that I have on? Sorry, my friend fucking called me at my thing shut off, but what was I even saying? I don't know what I was saying because she was like texting me. Um. Oh yeah. I was at a wedding. With the friend that just called me, actually. Shooting pictures or whatever. And... Get my car on. I was, like, trying to show her how to snap like this. Like, where you go like this. Waiting for Perry. Oh, my God. And I was doing it with this hand. And my rings flew off and like hit some guy like in the head and I felt so embarrassed. Can you please double check in case? She's like asking me if I have an SD card that she left here. And I'm like, can you just be responsible for one? She's like so irresponsible. She's always asking if she left shit here and she never did. I'm like, how are you a mother? Just kidding. Done.
finally. That is how it's done, ladies and gentlemen. Well, I'm really sorry if this mukbang was not as fun as the, uh, they usually are. I guess I always kind of feel that way. I always kind of feel like they're not good and then surprisingly some of them get like a thousand views, but I don't know. I like mukbangs. I think they're really fun to make and I don't really have to edit them that much. Like very simple editing. Um, I guess it's time to go home. You guys want to come with me? Uh, Buckle up, bitches. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm a paranoid bitch. I thought that fire hydrant back there. I give up. You guys can never see what I'm talking about. I thought the fire hydrant was a little kid and it scared me like just standing there. Nope. Okay. Uh, I need to go pee. Like, I wish I could go home and play video games, but I'm sure that my boyfriend's sister is gonna be like sleeping or something. <laughs> and, you know, she will be sleeping on the couch and I can't really play that way, so. I just need to find like a Nintendo Switch game to play so I can fucking take it into my room. <laughs> um, they made Assassin's Creed for Switch. I don't know if that's fun or not. And, oh, I got my boyfriend. Oh my God, I'm not gonna say, because what if he watches this? Never mind. but I got him a present for Christmas, and I'm excited for him to uh, interact with it. I don't want to fucking give it away. But, um, see, that's where I was at the beginning of the video, was this fucking place. I guess you can't see it. Back there. And uh, that's where I buy protein. Have I talked to you guys about how I get anxiety about um, going to like health stores because I, like I said, I'm so amazing at comparing myself to people and usually the guys that work there are like hella ripped and like I get jealous, I feel things that I like get upset and frustrated, I feel like I'm not progressing in any way. And it just stresses me out. But um, even right now at this light, when I am at red lights, I feel weird about like sitting here because I feel like people are looking at me. Like Utah people stare straight up. Um, like when I moved here from Arizona, I remember one of the first things I realized was that like one of my stepsisters she would just like stare a lot um and it just kind of like threw me off like I never met people like that and then I realized that it was like every Utah person like if you go places people will fucking stare at you they will make awkward eye contact with you and not say anything like I don't know what it is I don't know what they fucking put in the water here but people are weird as fuck I'm the type of person that like I avoid all eye contact and when People realize that I don't make eye contact, they'll keep staring. And I hate it. <laughs> um, it's weird. I just, I fucking, well, there's like a graveyard right here. I wish I could show you guys, but I don't want to get in a crash. Um, but they put like these big balls all over it during Christmas time that light up and they're like huge. It's so fucking weird. It's kind of like those balls that you had when you were a kid. Well, actually, I never had them, but like my friends had them, like those plastic ones that are all like spiky looking and you can like pull them open and it's like made of plastic and they like get really big. You know what I'm talking about? I don't know what they're called, but I saw an ASMR artist use one in a video before. I don't want to leave. I want to talk to you guys, but um, this is my apartment. I want to make another driving around ASMR video where I like drive around like this and just like talk. Cause I did one like last Christmas time and it was fun. But also, oh my God, see this car is fucking scary. 
So it's a hybrid. It's my sister's car, like I said. And it's half battery, half, um, it's like half electric, half gas or whatever the fuck. And so it's weird. It does this like auto stop thing. I really don't understand it, but like it'll turn the gas off or something like that when you like come to a complete stop. And if you're like on a hill or something, it'll start to like roll back if your feet aren't like on the gas. Cause you know like how normal cars, when you take your feet off the gas, they just start moving by themselves. This one doesn't do that apparently. Um, it'll start rolling back and you have to stop it again. It's like scary. Um, so don't buy a hybrid. <laughs> like it has good gas mileage, but that's about it. Um, ew, people. I don't want them to see me filming myself. I hate that. I was like trying to make a Snapchat story the other day in my car right here. And I couldn't because the dude in the car next to me was like probably watching me because you thought people are fucking gay. And I just couldn't bring myself to do it. Okay, go car. This is the weirdest fucking car, I swear to God. Okay. I think that's it for this video, guys. Thank you for watching. Um, if you want me to do more mukbangs, let me know. I hope you guys enjoyed this. And uh, yeah, I'm trying to film more on this channel. So I'll, I might post this like next week. I don't know, because I just posted a video today. Who knows? Maybe this was too terrible and I shouldn't post it at all. Because <laughs> um, I want to start taking this channel a little more seriously, uh, like I used to. And I kind of just grow it and like, you know, maybe make some more ad revenue. That'd be nice. And, you know, not just do ASMR because I love ASMR. I think I'll always do ASMR. Like I really love it, but I also want to do other stuff. Um, just like regular YouTube shit and like be creative. So you can't do everything on ASMR channels, you know? <laughs> so anyway, I love you guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you have not. And uh, if you made it this far, if you guys watched the whole fucking video, Leave an eggplant down below, okay? You know the fucking drill. And um, I will comment and I will heart it and say, thank you, baby Jesus. Oh, what am I saying? I'm done, okay. Thank you. <laughs> Love you guys. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.